this isn't a long story. It doesn't have a particularly climatic ending. But here it goes. So my boyfriend and I were visiting a few friends in Richmond, Virginia. We went with another couple and decided to get an Airbnb. The other couple that we went with picked out the Airbnb, but they hadn't really been in Richmond, Virginia before. So the place they picked was about 15 to 20 minutes outside the city center. Bit of a pain in the ass, but not a big deal. The neighborhood was nice and the house was okay. When we got to the house, it seemed really, I can't really describe it. it, it was nice enough and we were only staying a weekend and the owner left us some banana bread, but there was just this odd vibe to it, a bit of a creepy vibe. For example, when I put our stuff in our bedroom, I opened up the closet and there was nothing in it but a chair, not like a fold up chair, but like a small child's chair facing the bed from the closet. No hangers, no other linens, no towels. Just a small chair in an empty closet. I know that reading it, it doesn't sound creepy, but I promise you, it was weird. I brushed it off and we decided to settle in and then go and meet up with some friends from the city. Day turned into night we all had a bit to drink and decided to call it an evening at around 1.30 a.m. The four of us head back to the house and went to bed. Usually, when I drink, there is nothing in the world that will wake me up. My head hits the pillow and that is where I will remain until the sun comes up. So I don't know why it didn't happen this particular night. Maybe it was the fill of the house but I woke up at around 3 a.m. to a quiet giggle, like a grown man giggle. I thought maybe my boyfriend was just giggling in his sleep, but then the giggling started getting louder, and it sounded like it was coming from outside our window. The window was located behind the bed and above our heads, so I quietly snuck up to see if I could see anything nothing there was no one out there but it went quiet the giggling had stopped so i was about to just go back to sleep but then it started back up again this time i knew it wasn't my boyfriend and i knew it wasn't the other couple the giggling grew louder and louder until it was just full-blown hysterical laughter right outside our window at 3 a.m. I felt my boyfriend's hand clench mine. I didn't even know he was awake. I asked him, did you bring your gun? No, but I have my knife. He asked if I saw anything out there and I said no. The laughing stopped after about 15 minutes. We stayed up till about 4 a.m looking outside the window, making sure that laughter didn't come back. We finally went back to sleep. When we woke up the next morning, we asked a other couple if they had heard anything, and they said no. In fact, they thought we were crazy. One of them suggested that I dreamt it. But how did my boyfriend and I both dream that there was some random person laughing their heads off outside our bedroom window. I can't tell what's creepier to be honest. The fact that we heard that at 3 a.m. in this creepy house right next to our window, or that when we looked outside, there was no one there. I guess you can chalk it up to not being able to see it, to maybe this person being directly under our window. But why would someone do that? Why would someone just stay for 15 minutes outside of a house, giggling and laughing, and then just leave? Nothing happened after that. We went back home. But to this day, my boyfriend and I still bring it up 
as one of the creepiest things to ever happen to us. So, to the random dude laughing outside the bedroom window at 3am, let's never meet. <laughs>